Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on what part of the country you're located at. This is Jasir Jamal from Texas 1031 Exchanges, located down south of the country, of course. So today I want to go ahead and address a question that, once again, I'm willing to bet is definitely going to come up when it comes down to 1031 Exchanges. So basically, I'm sure you guys are going to ask, like, look, how does the IRS know that there's a certain property out there that you're holding it for investment purposes? The answer to that is very simple. When you file your 1040 at the end of the year, when you file your, ta file your taxes at the end of the year, there's another form called Schedule E that you need to go ahead and that's, that's basically a form where you go ahead and put down all the properties that you own for investment and how much money you're making out of them and then your expenses, what you have left and all that good stuff. That's something your CPA can definitely show you and tell you what it is. But basically, as long as you report your property on Schedule E for the past two consecutive years, at least, then you should be good to go. Then the IRS knows that the property is being held for investment purposes. However, if you're not reporting it on there, then they're, they're not going to know about it. And they're going to consider that as like a property for personal use. And then you can't do a 1031 with that. So basically, I just wanted to go ahead and address that question. So with that being said, that's it for me today. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to me and I'll be happy to address them accordingly. Until then, see you next time.